about ready to lift the lens off. Sun should come right up. Shut the heat gun off. Create the edge. Perfect. Now while it's still hot, you just pull this off. PVA should just peel right off. Real quick. Now let me just point out right here that there's a little bit of difficulty encountered. You can see, like I said earlier, the PVA material theoretically should come off in a sheet. Even though we got the lens nice and hot, for some reason there was a little difficulty getting this off. It came off more in pieces. It's not the end of the world, it's still easy to get off, but you gotta use a razor blade. Like, um, you know, just a flat razor blade knife, and it'll just go underneath the PVA and you should be able to lift it right up. It works quite well. But here we'll continue on. It's thick on these rectangulars. It's gonna kinda go at it. We're just gonna use a razor blade here. And here we are, after a successful lens uh, separation, the CRT face has thoroughly been cleaned and all PVA debris removed. In fact, there's the pile of the removed PVA. And what we want to be able to do is get it as clean as we can, which is pretty simple to achieve. It takes a little time use with the razor blade and the best uh, chemical I find for removing uh, small bits of PVA and you know streaks is carburetor cleaner 
it just comes right off. You just have a perfect glass finish afterwards and then clean the CRT face with Windex uh, and a towel and then for a finished streak free surface I use Windex with newspaper and you have a perfect clean glass surface and we're ready for glass mounting uh, once we install the double sided foam tape around the perimeter at various points then we'll set the lens on the CRT and then make a complete seal with clear packaging tape all the way around and once we've done that the CRT will be ready for reinstallation into the cabinet and here you see the lens that was removed and the lens has thoroughly been cleaned once again use carburetor cleaner to remove any residual PVA that might be seen on the surface and then as we did the CRT face use Windex and be sure to use a razor blade around the edge to get off the existing tape and once you do that the lens will be ready for installation on the CRT face no other prep work will be needed on the lens. As can be seen, the double sided foam tape has been installed around the perimeter of the CRT. I use 3M number 110 double sided foam tape, which is half inch thick, and I cut the pieces into about one inch long strips. Now it's critical that you place these strips far away from the edge of the phosphor. Reason being we don't want to see these uh, foam tape strips uh, on the edge when we reinstall the CRT. It doesn't look good of course. Let me uh, make a correction to my description of the 3M number 110. It's one half inch wide. It's about an eighth inch thick. Now granted, you're going to see a little bit of the black edge uh, through the bezel, but we don't want to see this tape at all. So if it's installed properly, it should be totally un unnoticeable, even when looking at the CRT from a side angle. And what we do now, before we pull off these uh, other sides, we do a test fit with the lens and what we're trying to do there is verify that each one of these pieces of tape will have surface contact to the lens and to verify that the lens does not make any glass to glass contact with the CRT face itself. So we're going to try that right now. Making sure that the glass is thoroughly cleaned, we give it a test fit. We check to see our fit up. And a simple way to do that, so you can tell right away, this particular piece of tape here needs to come in just a little bit more so it has surface contact to the lens. All of the other pieces look adequate. So we could do that very carefully by peeling this up. Resetting it. And check again. 